a couple days out from the election now. Obviously, you won. How are you feeling right now? Uh, feeling grateful uh, to the residents of Little Rock uh, for ensuring their trust uh, in me uh, to lead the city for another four years. Um, grateful that uh, our message of unity, growth, and transformation resonated with each resident. Uh, as we continue to grow forward as a city in jobs growth, population growth, affordable housing, our community schools model, and most importantly, crime prevention. What would you consider as your wins in your first term? And then the second part of this question is, what do you want to work on in your second four years? Sure. Uh, the things that we accomplished in the first four years uh, is working with our local economic development partners, the local uh, Little Rock Chamber, Arkansas Economic Development Commission, and the city board to announce uh, 8,000 plus new jobs to the city of Little Rock, whether it's Amazon One in Southwest Little Rock, Amazon Two in the Little Rock Port Authority, Trex, Trader Joe's, Costco, Top Golf. Uh, we've seen a lot of job and economic growth here in the city of Little Rock, and we want to ensure that that continues. Uh, we hope to be even making some more economic development announcements here in the next few days. Uh, but transitioning from the jobs growth is continuing uh, to ensure that more families choose to live in Little Rock. Uh, we've seen in the most recent 2020 census that the city of Little Rock grew close to 6%. We're now 203,000 people, uh, the top 125 cities in the United States. And for the people of Little Rock to make sure that they know that we're one of two mid-sized cities in the South that actually grew. That was Little Rock and Huntsville. And we want to continue that forward uh, growth mentality. Uh, and we do that uh, by ensuring that we continue to focus on our partnership with the Little Rock School District, with our community schools model that's providing wraparound services for our youth and families uh, within the four schools being Watson, Washington, Stevens, and Chico Elementary. Uh, we're grateful that the Little Rock School District has expanded our community schools model uh, to Mapleville Elementary and Mapleville Middle, and that it's now becoming a statewide model for other schools and cities to collaborate on with each other. Uh, and so, uh, and then also crime prevention. Uh, we know we've been focusing on a holistic, uh, comprehensive approach of targeted patrols in high crime areas, uh, increased community police presence, uh, standing up our real-time crime center, uh, and being very serious uh, about our funding of prevention, intervention, and treatment. Uh, we know the acting chief of police, Wayne Bewley, has said that it's working, it's, it needs to be sustained, we want to work to sustain that. Uh, but as we move forward uh, over the next four years, uh, we have to continue to focus on affordable housing here in the city of Little Rock because we want to ensure that every resident participates in the progress. And so we're excited about our 100 home uh, initiative that started uh, a few months ago to continue that effort to re actually reach 100. We're about, uh, we've, uh, the city has purchased about 35 properties of the 100. Uh, 24 of those properties have infrastructure. 14 of the 24 have gone up. And so we want to continue to see that forward movement from that particular standpoint. Uh, but when we talk about the future, we have to uh, focus one is the hiring, uh, which is the most important thing, is the hiring of our new police chief. Uh, that's top of mind uh, and we plan to do it very soon. Uh, and we were going to be working to start working through that process uh, very soon. Uh, and then moving from uh, our police chief search is to ensure uh, that uh, we um, focus on uh, homelessness here in the city of Little Rock for our brothers and sisters that are unsheltered. Uh, we've been talking about a number of different things from a micro village standpoint to address um, those particular matters. We want to focus on that. Uh, we want to continue again to focus on extending the community schools model. Uh, and I, I tell you another thing is, is quality of life in place. Uh, we want to continue to we, uh, ensure that we have more entertainment here in the city of Little Rock. Uh, we want to continue to focus on our dynamic trail system that we have, uh, the 63 parks that we continue to have, the maintenance for those parks, uh, but to continue to revitalize uh, each of those parks as best as possible. And then one thing uh, that we don't have uh, is a youth sports complex, and we really want to see that come to fruition, and we'll be working with the city board uh, to figure out how we make that happen. And so uh, we can carry on for days, but there are a lot of things that uh, we want to focus on is that's continuing that growing forward mentality uh, to ensure the city of Little Rock is a premier city in the South, in which we are. We want to continue to grow forward in that manner.
You mentioned kind of at the beginning of that answer, um, economic development in the coming days. Yeah. Anything you can share, kind of tease out of that? Or? Can't share, but just be, you'll be looking for a press release pretty soon. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we talked about some wins. I want to talk about some of the things that yeah. people have kind of used against you in the election. Obviously, violent crime has gone up over the past four years. We've seen, I think now, 75 homicides. So far this year, we've still got about a month left in the year, or yeah, a month left in the year. What's your reaction to those numbers as they've continued to go up throughout the year? Well, first, I want to give uh, the utmost due respect and appreciation to the men and women of the Little Rock Police Department. Um, our uh, crime reduction strategy is working. Uh, we've seen violent crime decrease a negative 7% uh, today uh, as it relates to that. However, homicides are up. Uh, we know we're now at 74 homicides here in the city of Little Rock. One homicide is one too many. Uh, you're talking to someone who gets a phone call each homicide in this city, and it pierces my heart and my mind uh, when we experience it. Uh, not only for the individual, the, the victim, but the victim's family and what it means for our community. And so we want to continue to focus on crime prevention. We know the next police chief will continue to lead that effort, uh, but we are doing the work. Uh, we're standing up a real-time crime center that's going to add additional eyes to the streets to help with crime prevention. Uh, we're going to be making some uh, uh, pay adjustments for our officers to continue to increase morale. Uh, from that particular standpoint and continue to ensure that they have every resource available to them uh, to prevent crime. Uh, and so again, it goes with our holistic approach of targeted patrols, increased community police presence, uh, but also prevention and intervention treatment programs. Uh, and then also that we've added four mental health workers uh, that are going to be working to help address those issues as well. So uh, we have a lot of efforts underway as, as we often share the actual plan is online at littlerock.gov forward slash reduce crime. And so we have a plan that's active that is working, uh, but there's more work to do and we know how serious it is. You mentioned a couple times in, earlier in this interview and in other times I've spoken with you about hiring that full-time police chief. And um, I know obviously you mentioned the interim chief Wayne Bewley has done a good job mm -hmm. so far, but obviously you want to hire a full-time chief there. You had mentioned that now the process kind of starts to ramp up getting that person hired. Was that process not something that was started when Chief Humphrey left or is it, was it kind of put on hold because of the election or, or what did that look like? No, the process started, uh, I believe, uh, a few weeks after uh, Chief Humphrey retired. Uh, and we've gone through that process and accepting applications and we've been going through those applications. Just part of the process and timing uh, had nothing to do with the election uh, because it was my intent to make the decision before the election. Um, but unfortunately, that wasn't able to happen. But we want to make sure that uh, we don't rush a decision uh, because it's a very important decision. You know, with hiring that police chief, you mentioned that. I, was, I know when we talked about election night, you said that's kind of the first thing I want to focus on. I want to get that out of the way. I want to make sure we hire someone who's right, you know, right fit for the department. What's the second thing you want to do after that? After we hire the police chief is get back to work. Uh, well, we always are at work, but uh, focusing on policies. Uh, that we discussed on the campaign trail, continuing the things that we've been doing, and, and working with the city board to see it through. And so uh, that's affordable housing, that's community school, our community schools model, uh, that's far, focusing on our parks and recreation system, uh, working to bring a youth sports complex to the city of Little Rock, uh, and leveraging the American Rescue Plan Act dollars that we recently approved and the, those items there. Uh, and so again, it's gonna be about job growth, uh, affordable housing, infrastructure, ensuring that our parks and recreation system is revitalized uh, for the parks across the city uh, to ensure that we focus on quality and life in place with dynamic trails, uh, ensuring that every resident participates in the progress of quality of life in place. One thing I am curious about is, as a mayor of a city as big as Little Rock, how do you tune out the negative and, and get to work every day and say, I hear what's going on out there, I've got a job to do. How do you do that? Prayer. Uh, and uh, and I'm, I'm very serious. For me, I'm a man of faith. Uh, and it takes a lot of prayer um, to block out the noise, uh, to block out social media. Uh, I am human. Um, it does get to me at times, uh, but you persevere. Uh, I tell everyone, this is what you sign up for. Uh, and so you block it out. And so for me, it's been prayer. Uh, it's what's helped me uh, to uh, block out the noise and continue the work. And we've gotten a lot done. Uh, and we want to continue to do that. I know in the coming weeks you're set to appear in court with the Freedom of Information Act lawsuit. One thing I am curious about is with this coming up, um, I know that not everyone at home understands what the Freedom of Information Act is, but I want to hear from you. How do you ensure clear and open communication with the residents of Little Rock with this coming up? Well, first, can't speak too much about uh, the court hearing um, because it's litigation and so we can't share too much. What I can share is uh, we wholeheartedly believe in accountability, clarity, and transparency. We wholeheartedly believe in the Freedom of Information Act. 
uh, and the issuance of public records. Uh, unfortunately, um, we've had uh, some serious challenges with staff uh, allocation resources as it relates to uh, responding to those records in a timely fashion. Uh, we, uh, I don't know of a time that we haven't sent any records. Uh, they haven't met the time limit. Uh, and so and a lot of that has to do with staff allocation resources and we're working uh, to correct that. Uh, and so again, I wanna make sure I communicate how wholeheartedly we believe in the Freedom of Information Act, uh, because we believe that is the essence of the democracy to ensure that uh, government is open, it's clear and transparent, and we will continue to do it. Uh, we've had some issues and some challenges, we're working through that, it will be corrected, uh, and wanna continue to move forward. It kind of sounds like from there, and, and kind of in the, the other questions you've answered, sort of the theme almost of the next four years, it kind of feels like, and maybe this was your first four years as well, was always getting better. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? Oh, uh, any leader that's not working on getting better is not necessarily a good leader. Uh, and so I, I've, I'm going to be taking some time over the next few days to look inward, uh, to be reflective uh, on how uh, we can get better uh, as an administration or how we can get better as a city as we lead the city. And so it's always about uh, focusing on how you get better. And so uh, getting better is growing forward. And so that's how you grow. You had obviously thousands of people who voted for you on election day, but then you had thousands who didn't. Mm -hmm. How do you be the mayor for the people, not just who voted for you, but the ones who didn't as well? Uh, because uh, the ones that did not vote for me, as well as the ones that voted for me, are my bosses. Uh, I've shared that quite frankly. Uh, in the first term, uh, we won with 58% of the vote. Uh, in the first term, and we won this uh, with nearly 50% of the vote. Uh, at the end of the day, um, whether you voted for me or not, uh, you're my boss. And, and so I know who, uh, who put me here, uh, and those are the residents of Little Rock, and we're gonna always put the residents of Little Rock first, whether you voted for me or not, because as my grandfather would say, it's my job to uh, help take out the trash, put, uh, catch the robbers and put out fires. And so uh, that's the job of a mayor. Uh, and that goes for everyone here in the, re every resident in the city of Little Rock, every business in the city of Little Rock, every worker in the city of Little Rock. And then for the residents of Little Rock, what's the message that you wanna get out to them today? Again, uh, to the residents of Little Rock, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, uh, how much I appreciate each of you uh, to, have, to be a son of this city, uh, to lead this city, uh, it is a dream. And I'm grateful that you allow me to have another four years to live this dream. And I want you to know how much I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, we are a city on the move. Uh, we're growing forward uh, in our jobs growth. We're going forward in educational achievement. We're going forward as it relates to our population. Uh, we're going forward to entertainment and quality and life in place. Uh, we truly are a catalyst for the New South. Uh, and a premier city, uh, and we're very excited about it, and it's all because of each of you. And so, as my mother taught me a long time ago, is just to say two words, thank you.